I'm going to open up a few applications so I can highlight something that they all have in common. And that is a menu bar integrated nicely into the application. Now the purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you to an application called Global Menu, which is a, a globally shared menu application for your GNOME panel. And what that basically means is that we're going to be taking this menu bar here and moving it here to our GNOME panel. And in this tutorial, what we're going to learn how to do is add Global Menu PPA to our repository, install Global Menu through our software center, and finally, apply Global Menu to our GNOME panel. So we'll start off by opening up our browser and navigating to google.com and then all you have to do is type in global menu and it should be the first link that pops up so we'll click that and once it loads we will scroll down to this area here that says installation and we will click the installation link and then on the next page we'll see this link that says PPA repository so we'll click that and we will be presented with a few options. Now keep in mind that I am running Ubuntu 10.04 but this also works for 9.10. These two links right here are what we want to focus on. And these are two PPAs that we're going to add to our repository. So what we're going to start off doing here is going to System, Administration, and Software Sources. You'll click this tab here that says Other Software and uh, before we do anything else we're going to copy this first one and then we'll hit add over in our software sources window paste it in and hit add source then we'll do it one more time for the link right below And after we've added those, we'll hit close, and it will prompt us to refresh our sources. So we'll hit reload. And we're good to go. It's all added in our repository. So from here, we'll go to Applications, and go to the Ubuntu Software Center. And then right here in the search query, we will type in Global Menu. and then we'll go down to this one at the bottom that says GNOME Panel Applet of Global Menu and then click install and it installed our program and it installed a dependency now before we install it on our panel, I'm actually going to have to restart my session. A lot of people have problems with uh, not being able to add the application immediately, and I'm one of those people, so I will be right back with part two of this tutorial. All right, fortunately the hardest part is over, so now all that's left to do is to replace this with this. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this uh, applications bar right here. Right-click it, remove from panel, and then we're going to add a couple things to our panel. First off, we're going to add something called Main Menu. And what this does is it basically takes your applications, places, and systems tabs and uh, puts them all into one nice menu. Here's places, here's system, and uh, applications is just the main menu. And then now we are ready to add Global Menu. And we'll just hit Add. And it's in a funky spot here, so I'll just go ahead and move it. There we are. Lock both of these. And you'll notice that uh, our menu is still here on our terminal, but that can easily be solved. Just close it, open it, there you go. Our menu is nicely tucked away into our GNOME panel. And it also gives you a little extra functionality for the desktop, too. Once you click it, you can uh, navigate to your home folder, your computer, all these good places. You can uh, add folders. And, of course, it saves a little space on your desktop if you're picky about screen reservation. 
So again, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.